You may wonder why we're starting a BS1563 plug that says free and few <laughs> over the top of the kettle door while the cooker is not on. Uh, well, this is connected to that, which is a cabinet light, 30 watt, uh, a small 30 watt bulb. So, yeah, we plug it in over here. Yeah. It's a little spotlight. It gets hot quite fast, so we're going to turn that off. Yep, standard £30 in the UK plug. The little connectors that have come apart for cabinet light connectors. Looks a bit like a figure of eight, but I've tried it in a portable stereo that doesn't fit in the, the plug for the cabinet light doesn't fit in. So, uh, I don't worry, as I said, the cooker is off. We, we'll get to that in a minute because that's, just an, that's an old ceiling light for them as I was converted to a table lamp uh, but a cord and the line switch. But incidentally, we're going to put the plug into there. But don't worry, the switch at this end is still switched off. It's going to be cooking all over. Right, this here. We need to put the camera down a little bit. And we'll try and do this in front of the camera so you can see. You take this off here. You can generally ease it off. It's not a screw fit in any way. This is a little lamp holder. You put the two screws through that hold it up on the cabinets. It's a tiny little a tiny little 30 watt bulb, it's about obviously it's about 30 to 35 millimeters. I can see if there's a code on the bulb. General Electric. I don't know if you can see that there or not. General Electric 244 made in Hungary 30 watts J4. And, oh, and it's an SES type one holder, so any SES light fitting will do, we'll, we'll, we'll take that one. So I'll just put the cover back on there and put the, keep, that, keep that safe. I don't know, I've not seen any bulbs in any popular DIY store, we'll sit there and take the back out of the room and it's safe. And uh, I've not seen any bowls for them in any popular DIY source. On the top of this, I've already pre washed it to take it off. Like that. And we'll set that to the back. In fact, I'll set it somewhere where it's not where it's safe and it's not going to go flying all over the place. Right. First up, I'm going to show you. I hope that wasn't a going pop inside the thing, but I don't think so. There's a loose, there's bits of loose material in this bulb. This is a bulb on the base here. I don't know if you can actually see it here. Also, I'll turn it slowly. It's made by a company called Pillar or Pillar. It's a 60 watt bulb. Possibly made in the manufacturer. It's got a brass colored base instead of the usual silver ones that you get on the ones you get in the modern ones you get now. It's possibly made in, uh, uh, made in 18... It's made in Poland. Or is it Poland? Hang on, I'll, I'll, see, if I, I'll see if I can see it from here. Hang on. I'm going to have a look at this carefully. I think it's made in, I'm sure it's made in Poland, I haven't got the box in it and all that. I had a yellow one of these to somebody next to it for the bedside one and then the, the thing eventually failed. But this is one that I bought in the 1986 when I, when I had a, I had a, I also had a blue one, the blue one failed. Uh, I never, I never got any other colours there, so it was brand. Most of the other colours were felts, uh, where I felt some action. This one still works to this day. Now whether the camera shows it up or not, that is really, really, really red. I'm not going to have it on for too long. That is pure red in here in the kitchen. As it is 60 watts, it generates quite a bit of heat, so I'm going to turn it off so I can get it out of there for the next thing. Genuine 1980s lamp, 60 watt bulb, or GLS bulbs as they call them. There's a good uh, study right go. The camera doesn't show shows it more pink on the camera for what I'm seeing in the camera screen. Because the camera actually shows more red with the red LEDs. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, but uh, 
I've got a place to keep that safe. I keep it safe in my, in my old, uh, old classic compact fluorescent lamp uh, from the 1990s, with the, with, which sits stood in a box, in a, in a big box. So I've got tons of other light bulbs on you bring it another day. Now, this is something. Something next I'm going to show you is. Uh, should be about 1 watt, about maybe 1.5 watt at the most. It's this. It's a crucifix one, but uh, maybe a Friday the 13th, if we come, uh, Mark's coming up with this Friday. Uh, <laughs> maybe it'll get rid of all evils. I've had this one on. The base of this one actually heats up. Now, this is the bulb here. Pick the camera up again. Well, this is the crucifix neon, neon global. The base of it, the, the, the one of the two terminals on the base actually heats up. I think it's that one there because that's got all the solder marks on it. Solder's marked on that a little bit. Uh, or solder is to call it in America and Canada. Uh, if you look carefully, the two uh, plates don't touch. They sort of uh, let the electric current sort of can all the glow because it's, uh, because it arcs across the uh, sort of like. It's the magnetic field caused by the current between it causes it to go, sort of like an electromagnetic arc. Well, we're going to put it in. We're going to put it in a position. We're going to let you see this on. It's just a neon global. I'm not going to have it on for too long because the base heat. So I don't know if this is common. Uh, if, uh, uh, I was looking at other ones, uh, but they're all 120 volt and 130 volt, and. Uh, the mains over here were uh, finishing them off in second front. You can see the go on the inside the bulb. It's also got the figure of Christ on the cross as well. It's actually it's, it's, it's a sort of religious article. <laughs> Maybe they'll keep the bad spirits away from the 13 gun. That's a superstition. Now, it lights up well. And, uh, The lights up very well indeed. I, can't, I got this off of a certain auction site. Not too close in. You can see the figure there on the bulb. I was looking for some of the, the, the globe type ones with the spirals in them, but uh, it doesn't get really hot. It doesn't even heat up. Uh, uh, it's more the basic heat up, so that's why I'm going to turn it off. But. Uh, The base of the bulb is hot. I'm not going to touch that because the uh, it's not so much the base, it's also the terminals. That one there. But I, I don't know if it's both of them. I'm not going to touch them because I got a lot of nasty nip and touch and nearly dropped it when, when, I, when, I, when I felt the heat. Just have a look at a sniff around and see where my finger, uh, look around if I feel around my finger, see where the heat's coming. But the two contacts on the base, the base, the two out of the two millimetre bayonet base, actually, I get warm. I don't know if this is normal with these globals or uh, or of this. Or if it's a type of lamp holder, or something, whatever it is, but. Uh, <laughs> Just leave a comment if anybody else knows about the knows about the glow balls and they find the base is heating up on the glow balls and the bulb not warming up at all. Mm. Be good to know. Uh, so can maybe get a separate lamp holder for lighting these things up there. Not using normal bulbs. And... But still, it's a it's a collectible item. So I've actually bought it more for collect for more for purposes of collecting the items. Yeah. I'm calling it a sealed information. It's a vintage one, so uh, I would assume. Uh, Put it back in its box for safekeeping. I would assume it's out of the 1960s. I would assume it's out of the 1960s. I'll close the top again. Oops. I would assume that it's here in the 1960s. In the 1950s. You can also get them with screw bases as well. I don't even know what it's made of. It, but it's all in English. I think... Uh, I would assume that it's British made because uh, it's 210 to 250 volt, uh, 50 to 60 hertz, uh, or, no, 50 hertz I think it is, uh, on the base of the bulb. Uh, no, this one's 50 hertz. Uh, another one I was looking at was 50 to 60 hertz by the way, but I'm not going to, I wasn't giving the, uh, the, uh, the seller 60 quid uh, for a neon global. Uh, 
so they are light bulbs, they are not for any neon bulbs, it's not, uh, it's not as if it's some red, uh, there's only one in the whole one. Probably, there's probably a hundred of these things lying about in all different ages, box or unbox parts. Yeah, that's what I was eliminating in my land holder today. The comparison of the size. The vintage uh, neon crucifix go uh, global and the uh, pillar uh, 60 watts red. Uh, it's just uh, what used to be called a standard light bulb, now called the GLS bulb for some reason, since the Chinese think we took over the market. And, uh, which is actually, which I bought in 1986, which could have, this could have been made in 1985, but it's lasted to, this is the year 2015, so uh, interesting that I've still got something like that, it's still going. It lasted longer than the CFLs I've ever bought. And that, and that there, that's a little cabinet light. It used to be in an old cabinet with glass shelves. It used to have ornamental stuff stuck in uh, until the cat wrecked uh, the ornamental stuff in the cabinet. Uh, uh, well, the cat is now resting in peace or in pieces, whichever, whichever happened after uh, after the, the vet had to put the cat down uh, for cat flu but, uh, a couple of years ago. So, uh, and the cat was 19 years old. But so, uh, that's all for this uh, video. And, uh, well, many thanks to watching the time for watching. Uh, I will be uploading more stuff. Uh, I'm a bit restricted to what I can do this now because of mobile broadband, but I'm getting the fixed line BT broadband or I'm getting EE broadband put in, so uh, I'll have unlimited capabilities back again soon, so uh, stay tuned as there will be more. And don't worry, the cooker isn't on. I wouldn't be able to do that if these things were on because they take about an hour. Take a good three quarters of some. I've seen them taking them still being in the warm for these things now, but it takes a good three quarters and it cool down, so uh, no, it's not going to bother clearing that out before I make me tea tonight, so uh, thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned because there will be more coming in the near future. Not saying when, but there will be more uh, coming.